Scorpios out there. Um, and so, you know, we love to make love. And so we need our, our, our like, making love playlist. And um, I, I started to find it harder and harder for the stroke game to actually, like, make a playlist. And then I was getting, then I, went, I was, you know, I was doing my old school playlist and shit, all the shit that I did. And then I would just get a lot of questions of like, yo, what happened to that frequency? What happened to that feeling? You know? And, and, and also, most importantly, what happened to the radio stations understanding the power of R&B? And how did the radio stations go from number one in hip hop to the number one in hip hop to R&B to R&B just being just decimated? Now, when I said when I when, when I say that, and I, and I know this is it's a whole different sensitive time. Like a lot of you motherfuckers is too extra sensitive for real. Sometimes people don't even be talking to y'all. Y'all be thinking something's for you because you just sensitive, you know. And that's part of R and B. But we talking about truth though. We talking about feeling. So I'm when I make my music, I'm connected to to the to the ladies and the ladies was asking a question really just what happened to r&b not just the frequency of the feeling but just why there weren't as many opportunities for r&b why were they playing less r&b and and i felt like it was a consorted effort you know because r&b is our, our one of our greatest art forms in African-American culture. And so in R&B, there are no rules. There's, it comes as a derivative of rhythm and blues, comes from blues, and it comes from the church. So when in radio, they started saying, no, we don't want y'all to put that blackness on there. Don't put that live bass on there. Don't put that, don't put that riff or that run on there. Um, thank God for Silk Sonic making a record with feeling and emotion and love. Summer Walker bearing her soul and, 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 and making sure that, you know, that that rawness is there. Scissor, Kalani, Giveon. Brent Fias, Tiana Taylor, Tim's. No, we're not talking about, you know, is is are there are there people not out there fighting the fight? But I know damn well that get the same support, you know, as hip hop artists. They don't get the same nurturing, they don't get the same attention, and the talent is not held at a certain level of singing. Now you could disagree with me, and, you, and 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 all that's good. But this is all good for all of us that's in the field of arm because there's a lot of musicians out there that's not working because the computers is working. There's a lot of people that are out there that are really major, major superstars, and their future is not in their hands based on their talent. Their future is based on if they're going to do the right TikToks. Their future ain't know if they, 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 can, they can sing. Their future is not judged on. Their future is on if, if, if they can say something that may fix, fit, fit a toxic mood. But if they say a, sing a song about love that they really love, there's no place for it. And so that's where the conversation really is. Because there's not a lot of platforms and a lot of places that are... Are, are making sure that we're free as artists and especially R&B artists to be black and sing like black people sing in the church and do ad -libs. It's like, yo, yo, you, we need your record to be two minutes and 40 seconds. You need to do a tick. You need to do this. You need to do that. And then when you turn on your radio or you look at the playlist, they not, you know what I'm saying? You don't even know who's programming the playlist. 
You know what I'm saying? And it's a it's 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 a whole thing of where is the state of R and B at right now? How did I get in the conversation? Because I'm launching a label, Love Records, and I love R and B. It's always been um, you know, just just my my the number one thing that I love to do, you know, and my favorite my favorite new artist who I'm happy to say is on my album has just joined us. Summer, what's up, Summer? Hi. How you doing? I'm all right. Back. Congratulations. Thank you. You look so pretty today. Well, thank you, sir. As always. I'm just glad for you to have me here. It's an honor. Yeah, thank you. And it's um just want to thank you for like, you know, everything that you've done. It's it's especially when I look at what makes an R and B artist, I, I um number one is vulnerability. And I just wanted to have a conversation with you. What 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 do you think makes um an R and B artist and what, what do you make sure that you take with you in the studio and with your art form? Um, I definitely think storytelling and soul is um, what makes good R&B. Um, coming from a real place makes it easier to really, like, connect with people mm. instead of just, like, you know, letting someone just cook up something that you can't relate to, I guess, if that makes sense. Yeah. Definitely. But as, as an R&B artist, do you feel like you have the opportunity to be exposed? Do you feel like, how do you feel like being in a genre of, of R&B? Is, is it an easy road? Is it a hard road? Is it, you know? It's not an easy road because I feel like I can't make the music that I really want to make. Um, I know, like, I'll, I'll give somebody some shit with hella so, but then niggas only get excited about like the poppy stuff or like the um the just you know they get excited about the more upbeat stuff like oh this gonna go to radio this gonna go to radio but the shit i feel like that the people really want to hear that want to connect to they don't be excited about that so yeah yeah i think that's was one of the things that i that, that i was trying to say on who killed r&b who killed the freedom of a, a a a vocalist of your your stature being able to sing from her heart, you know what I'm saying, and following the footsteps of Aretha Franklin, Mary J. Blige, all of the greatest artists in the world, and you want to put out something that showcases your stuff that's comparable to the greats in the feeling and the emotion, and and there is something that is a consorted effort to dumb down some of your greatness. That's what that that's what I was trying to get out of the conversation because I feel like a lot of R and B is dumbed down in a sense. And when I speak to artists that have, like yourself that have worked with me on the album, they're like, "Yo, man, I feel so good. I could just like sing the way I want to sing." Yeah. And so, yeah. I feel that I really do. Do Do you have to go through that like like a lot where you feel like, you know, what I'm saying. Um, you have to put some cut on on the soul. Um, yeah. Even like I said, I was never gonna do another album. But if I did do another album, like it would really be like some old school, straight soul. Like thank God, like you said, for Silk Sonic. Like that type of shit is what I want to do. But I don't know if it'll go anywhere. But at least I had fun, you know. <laughs> Yeah, and and that's what the conversation is about. I want everybody to get that clear. You know what I'm saying? Um, R&B is not dead. There, there, there are so many young artists, and anybody, hey, yo, Jeff, shout out to Jeff and her. Anybody that 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 you know got offended by by me bringing the truth to light, it's not to offend, but it's to it's to start the conversation. So as if, if I'm gonna be in the R&B game, I'm gonna be pushing back. I'm having conversations today with people that actually will try to tell tell you how to produce a record or talk about a time, but they never talk about the feeling. They don't talk about the feeling no more. And so as me, as I started the conversation because I'm like, man, there's so many talented artists that are, that are out there 
And and I think this is right now we're going through an R&B renaissance. So I actually think that because of artists like yourself, like you know, like the weekend, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, like Chris Brown, of, of course, the king of R and B, you know, I you know, the list of names, um, um, LMA, um, you know, be, be, because of that, there's a research Jasmine Sullivan had it though. Jasmine Sullivan, Jasmine Sullivan's on the album. She is, you know, definitely one of my, the greats, one of my favorites. And um there's such a resurgence that's going on right now. But the resurgence is at jeopardy because of the algorithm and because of who initially killed R&B. Now, R&B got killed, and this is, I'm going to give y'all the answer, who killed it, when you had these executives that, Never was about R&B, but started, the algorithm started, and the algorithm said dance music. And then, so they would take our artists and say, yo, have them make dance music. The algorithm said they want it simpler. So then on your choruses, it was like, no need for you to add an ad lib, you know? And so as R&B starts to have a renaissance, R&B is important for the balance and the frequency of life. Babies wouldn't be made without R&B. You know that babies would not be made without R&B. The frequency of love, something that you could go listen to when your heart is broke, something you could go listen to when you fall in love. And so that's what I'm here to unify us with. You know what I'm saying? Is that as R&B artists, as producers, you know, um, I feel like we should be heard more and I started to bring this up because I got this record with her and the record like a five, six minute long record. And that's just what I wanted to do. And I realized, man, like, yo, you got the opportunity to do that with some other artists. They trying to make, make them forced and put them in a box. And that's what you can't do with R&B. Like you can do numbers on hip hop because you, you understand the structure. But R&B is supposed to be able to go to have freedom to go to bridges, go to vamps and do other things. Do you I was it, concerned about that like the time thing is really a thing. I've heard that a million times like oh summer is too long. It's too long. It's too long. Like I remember when songs back in the day was literally like six minutes long, five minutes long and it's it's okay. I mean if it's fucking music too, especially like let it go. Yeah. Let it like that is really a thing. I wanted to talk to you because you are definitely, um, you are great. You know, I tell that every time I see you, your voice, I hope, I pray to God this is not your last album. You know what I'm saying? And I want, I want people to know that people, artists, this is a real thing about, about R&B in this conversation because you have Tiana Taylor that retired. You got some Walker that's talking about retiring. It's because they tired of the motherfucking bullshit. <laughs> That's what I'm bringing to the light. So please don't retire. Thank you for being on my album. Thank you for checking in with us. Um, you know, we're going to be begging you to keep on putting out music. Shout out to LVR and the whole crew over there. And um, it's just thank you for your time because your perspective is one of the most important perspectives out there because your talent is at that level. You know what I'm saying? So just love, love. You hearing that from a legend is crazy, so thank you. It's the truth. And I, I look forward to us to making music together where there, you know, there, there's no restrictions. Making more music where and, and we can just feel. And, and, and to all the R&B artists and producers, remember, it's about the feeling first, you know? Call me. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Love. Love. Bye. Thank you. So... As y'all can see, I'm trying to really make sure that I, I, I redirect the conversation, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a person of love, you know what I'm saying? I'm here to bring a frequency. I'm here to bring music for the ladies, things for people to dance to. I'm not here to um, be divisive of new artists versus old artists versus other styles, different approaches, anything like that. But I'm always going to be here to challenge you to be the greatest you. I'm going to challenge your vocals. I'm going to challenge you to get off the auto-tune. 
I'm going to challenge you to bear your soul. I'm going to challenge you to be a man and cry on a record. I'm going to challenge you to love a woman. I'm going to challenge you to have foreplay. I'm going to challenge you to keep your stroke on for a 10-minute record. I'm going to challenge you. I'm back in the game. I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to challenge the conversation. And you don't have to agree with me. You know what I'm saying? But this is, a, this is important for the whole thing. You got to be part of the conversation. This man, my man right here, he knows that he stays in he stays in the conversation. What's up, T? What's going on, my man? How you feeling? How you, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm on top and rising, man. Couldn't be better. It's 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 so crazy. I'm on a love frequency, but you know I got a mean, toxic side to me. <laughs> and nigga, when I be throwing that Playboy on, I can leave that bitch on motherfucking repeat. Nah, thank and you. Let it really do its thing. For sure. And that's crazy. Is that you know um out of my R and B artists um that that I don't know if people would would know that you are one of my favorite R and B artists. Wow, that that's a that's what I'm listening to in the crib when I'm getting when you know what I'm saying when I'm doing my thing and you know what I'm saying with my lady when I'm just mm, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. When I'm, in, when I'm in that motherfucking vibe and everybody we gotta stop front. When they get in that vibe, they know they go get some of that Tory Lane. Tory Lane's got a good six joints on 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 the smash and playlist. Now look, that's that's a fact. I'm 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 here to touch on to touch on everything that you're talking about. And I don't think I don't think that you was wrong for saying what you said either. I, I think that it, it needs to be said more unapologetically so that niggas can understand what's really going on. The reality of the situation is is like you got uh artists even like Summer, and by the way, before I even say anything, Summer, I love your music. I, I love her, everything about her art and her creativity and like her rawness and just like everything about her. And like, even like how she's saying, I would love to put out this type of album, but I don't know if anybody will listen to Summer. I promise you, me by myself will make that shit go flat. If I listen to that shit a hundred thousand times. My thing is, is like, it's not that R&B is dead. There's incredible artists out. There's incredible R&B artists out every single day. The problem is the culture of R&B is dead, and 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 that's that's just what it is. Like you 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 got um, a lot of of uh, uh, because you know we we're in a time where there's a lot more controversy and a lot of a shock factor and stuff like that. They highlight in the moments when the OGs is 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 beefing with the young niggas and and, and it's a king of R&B thing and or, or or the competition moments and it's not really about who's making great, great music, which OGs is, is leaning down and making music with the young niggas, the, the, the state of where we're at with it. And even like just people in general that love R and B. It's not that we're saying, you know, there's not good R and B out. They will always R and B out. Yeah. The problem is right now is that I think down the line, there started to be this thing where it's like, yo, I can't do R and B unless it's as raw and rugged as what I'm hearing outside. And, and now it's like this thing where it's like, it got to be toxic. Yo, as a nigga who started and been doing this toxic shit for about eight, nine years on the R&B, it don't got to be toxic, my nigga. I want to hear about love again. I want to hear about, you know what I'm saying? I want to be able to, there's not a moment. The problem is, it's like, I feel like there's not enough moments in R&B now. There's not enough times where we able to be, there was always a moment in the club when you used to be chilling with your girl or something, and, and you and you reach for her face and you singing the music in her face, and the, the, it's not the it's not the moment for that no more. You feel what I'm saying? So it's the culture of it that I think is dead. It's not the it's not the I think there's incredible artists out right now, but it's the culture and it's the direction and where we're going with it. It's only going to a place that's like this dark, like not about love thing where it's just about yeah, yeah. and then you know what I'm saying. And I'm a nigga who who make that type of music, but I'm even saying like, yo, I'm even like at a place where it's like, I want to do something different. Hence why my last project was Alone at Prime. And it was nothing like anything that niggas was doing because I was like, hey, you know what? Fuck these niggas. It's not like niggas is playlist to me anyway, nigga. I'm just drop my shit, niggas. <laughs> do, 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 Fuck these niggas. And from that point on, and I'm going to let every artist notice and every R&B artist notice, the second that I decided to say, fuck this shit and Fuck what you niggas was talking about. I'm going to drop this. I'm going to go all 80s on niggas. I'm going to do some shit niggas ain't even doing. Right. With that that was the moment that people looked at my music and were like, yo, this is some of the best music that you've ever released. 
And if I didn't take that time and I didn't take that moment to say, yo, fuck it, I'm going to be fearless, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be nothing for niggas to look at and be like, yo, I'm going to be fearless too. Yeah. And, and yeah. the reality of it is, is like us as the young niggas and us as the young uh, uh, generation right now, we got to realize we hold way more weight than, than, than we think. Like, for instance, like, and, I, and uh, not to just keep bringing up as a comparison, but like, even with some walkers, like sometimes I see some walkers say, yo, I don't want to do music no more. I don't want to, ah, ah. And to me, it's like, yo, that breaks my heart. Cause I'm like, yeah, I, 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 like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's but we got to remember that we are actually more of a, a bigger voice. Our voice is like a hundred times multiplied to regular people that are, that are actively trying to be writers or musicians. And when we say stuff or when we do stuff, we got to realize like people are really looking at us for this is the new, this is just how I need to look at it because this person looks at it like that. And, and what I've realized is just like, we need to be more innovative on just bringing that feeling back and bringing moments back to R and B, you know what I'm saying? And that, and that, and that will, will really bring the culture back to me. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you a crazy thing is there's really not a platform for love. The way they got this algorithm programmed, they just got it really programmed for like, you know, not a balance of love, you know what I'm saying? So thinking like about an artist like you, and you got a record, a love record, it's almost like, and, and you bearing your soul to a woman, it's not even a place, then a playlist may not even put you in, in playlist because your shit got too much love in it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For and, real, for real. That's what, I, that's what I'm trying to say. Who is controlling the frequency and the vibration because there's fear that's in the air about being free. I you know, want you're a certain type of cat. You you you. I want to say girl fucks a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, but you got to think about other people that have the talent that's just stuck in the studio. Like, oh my god, what I do? I, I can't just sing what God gave me in my voice to sing. I'm I'm outside. I'm in the studio sessions with niggas all the time, and sometimes I'll go into an OG nigga session like one of the. The big R&B, I'm saying no names or nothing, but I'll go into like one of the niggas from our time and and it'll be like, yo, I can't wait to make music with this nigga. And this happened countless times. I go in the studio and when I get there, it's always this hesitation of like, yo, listen to these records. The records are always great. They sound like how they, how they used to sound. They may not sound like how our records sound, but they sound like how they're supposed to sound. And the music that's supposed to, that, that I feel like some of the OGs are supposed to be releasing. It's like this hesitation like this. It's like, yo, nah, I'm out of tune with what you're doing. I want to do what you're doing. And I'm like, nigga, I want to do what you're doing. The fuck are you talking about? But what niggas don't understand is it's like, we're only doing what we're doing because I feel like some of the OGs never really leaned down to show us how to do what they did. It, it just became this thing where it's like, now the OGs want to, it's just like, nah, if, if our shit isn't dark and toxic, then it's not going to go right yeah. It's like, yeah. nah, nigga, we, we, we need the, 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 the advice. We need all of the two cents that you have that yeah. shows us how to make records, yeah. that how to do harmonies again, that show us how to make shit sound great. Yeah. The, the, the things that you guys all must have somehow knew in this time when you were all recording these records, we need those. We need those, those gems so we can start making music like that. It's yeah, not but... that no one's controlling the algorithm, love. It's not that no one's controlling the algorithm. Okay. We're controlling the algorithm. And if we as R&B niggas and R&B people don't stand up as a community of people that start actually uh, 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 standing together and just making what the fuck we want, we're going to be in this place where we're never going to make what we want to make. And we're always going to be at this place where R&B is obsolete in the club. And all we're hearing is copy-pasted songs about niggas with these imaginary ops, all these fake-ass guns from Call of Duty, and all this shit that niggas is talking about. And it's never going to be that moment when we're in the club they stop, they slow it down, you grab a shorty, and you, mm, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 uh, you know, so the, the, the innovation has to be re-brought out from not only the OGs, but even us as the young generation of all of us doing R&B. And niggas got to do this one thing, too. The R&B niggas is bougie. Stop that shit. We all need to work together. The problem is there's a lot of bougie shit going on. Because it's only some of us out, it's like... Now nah, I'm competition with that nigga because it's only it's a scarcity of us. But that's really what the problem is. Back in the day, you had the the, the niggas jumping on songs with each other. The, the, you know what I'm saying? You had you had moments. There's no more moments. There's a lot of bougie. I don't know if I should. Uh, to, uh, 
it's not like how it used to be. The unity needs to be back into our community. I, I don't mean to yeah. run. I don't care about that. And, I, and that's what it's really about. As I, as I hear you talk about like OGs versus this and that, we, let's, 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 let's stop that right there. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody got something to learn something from, 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 from no matter what age you are or what era or whatever that you, you, you know, you, you, you came in. I'm, I'm glad this conversation is happening so everybody can stay because I'm a unifier. You know what I'm saying? I, no, I'm not anybody that wants to like break people up or, or, or have us against each other, the different sub genres and the different styles. That's exactly. not the purpose is me recognizing and saying, like, you could be freer. Like, I I love you as an artist. I'm listening to your music and I know that there's more going on in your life. You know what I'm saying? And I know that I mean you gotta you I mean you you you, you gotta love. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I know when a cat is in a in a trick bag in a position and he got some cut on his stuff. So now what I'm saying, why are you one of my favorite R and B artists? Is that you ain't got no cut on your shit. You doing whatever the fuck you want to do. Right. How you want to riff, doing whatever you want to do. And I'm saying it's important that whatever the, the producers that have the code, people that get together, I just wanted the energy. You know what I'm saying? We not here, we had to unify. All what, of us together what, and talk about a platform that's important for us as, you know, we got to have that balance. It's, it's part of our African-American culture. Everything else has been erased. Now, the shit don't, you don't have a representation of that blackness and that freeness the way we want to do it. Let me ask you this. Why don't you think cats use bridges or vampires or do actors? It's disconnecting. What my fault? I didn't hear the last. Yeah, no, it's all good. I said I wanted to ask you a question. Why don't you think cats do like bridges, or vamp outs, or have instrumentation or changes of B section? I'm trying to tell you the 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 the, the, the difference is is that this the love is not, and, and I don't mean like as in like the love like yo we all love each other and it's that too, but the love is not being made in the music and like. I want to touch on something right quick. Like, for instance, I seen Hitmaker say, you know, he didn't agree with us saying, you know, R&B is dead right now, right? And, you know, somebody like Hitmaker, for instance, there's a structure that I feel like I make music on. I sample a lot. Hitmaker samples a lot. We sample a lot. And because the songs we're sampling are so big, sometimes you just kind of want to flip it and you want to do something different and you want to do something that's quick and there's something that's whatever the case is. But a lot of that time, and even I, I fall victim to this too, being that a lot of that's my fault too. Like niggas like, niggas like me and niggas who kind of just go through the music fast and shit like that, sometimes that's our fault too because at the end of the day, we're not adding all the extras. Now, when I go do the Chicks tapes or when I do Playboy, that's why now everything is about the production. Niggas is sitting here getting the songs from the, from, from the same um, 10 producers, the same beats is floating around through all of us, and we all sit in there Right, and remember, the beats is simple beats. Niggas is getting these beats out and getting them out and just sending them out. They not taking the time to go sing, take the moment and be like, yo, we need to go make a, a, a bridge right now. Call the guitar nigga in, call this nigga in because it needs to sound more peaceful or whatever the case is, or call a sense in or, or whatever. We're not, we're not doing the extras to really make the songs no more. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and because it's becoming this copy paste, like, yo, we copy the bridge here. We do, we do something like the original hook here and we da 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 It's becoming to be this thing where it's just like, it's blah. And, and I think what niggas, is, what niggas have to understand, and I'm telling y'all this just because I'm a nigga who really samples the whole industry right now, though. There was a time when niggas said, yo, Tori, do not sample these type of records because they're too big. Like, it was like, of course, a lot of your records, too. Like, yo, this niggas, don't touch this record, because don't touch a, a Shanti Foolish. Don't touch <laughs> this type of record over here. It's too big. And I remember niggas was going crazy on me, like, yo, da, da, da. But then, now it's getting to this point where it's like, yo, niggas caught on to, nah, there's nostalgia in these records that we still can pull out. Now it's gotten to this carbon cut thing where niggas have gotten to a place where they simplify it, and, and we're really living off the fact that the beat is the fucking sample of something we love. We don't even fucking like the song. We like the sample. We love the sample. We're in love with the sample, my nigga. Yeah. I'm hearing like 10 drill songs right now. 
with amazing samples from everybody. And I don't know if I truly love the songs or if I love the samples. I love the samples, though. That's really what it is. Because as a person and as an artist, you got to understand, like, I rap and sing. But when I'm doing R&B, what I'm referring to and what I'm going and what I'm pulling from are the places where these samples are coming from. It's that golden era of R&B. Now we're getting to a point where it's like, yo, if I just come up with a sample right now, then everybody <laughs> yeah. I throw some, I throw some drills on this joint right here. Yeah. I put a hook, say a little bit of dumb shit, boom, send it out. It's five cuts, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah, better yet, a if it's a new rap song, and I just put the, I even will put the fucking sample of the actual original hook of the original song that I like as the hook. And, and, and as long as that shit plays, it's going to give niggas nostalgia and they're going to sing it because they already know it. So it's like, it's taking the hardness away from artists to have to, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I, I, definitely, I definitely want to make sure that everybody knows that I give respect to all of the subgenres. Everybody doesn't have to sound the same. You ain't got to have the same style. You know, all I'm pushing for, though, is I'm, I'm introducing the love era. That's why I'm having the conversation. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And... and, and and I'm definitely here. If anybody want to, any young artist want to work, want to produce, want to talk about even anything that I could share, because it is about teaching about song structure, arrangement, and different things like that, that a lot of cats ain't get. And it's only a, a couple of people. We got Jermaine Dupree coming on a little later. He's going to be speaking about shit. But I definitely think this is a, a great time since it got everybody so fueled up. Like, okay, is he talking about like old R&B and versus new R&B? Nah, okay, the conversation is that we talking. Now let's come together and let's make some music for the ladies. Let's make some music to make love to. Let's make some music to have foreplay. Your niggas is moving too much. You're not taking your time. You're not caressing her. You're not, you're not even letting the record breathe, B. You're not letting the record breathe. And then you motherfucking going back and being dirty. For sure. you not happy. You know what I'm saying? And R&B is about making her happy. And I don't, that's what, that's my thing. And that's my opinion. That's my opinion. My, that, that's where it starts at. Or, or from a, uh, from even a female perspective, the vulnerability. Yeah. But as you know, what I'm trying to bring to the game is something for us to, um, you know, to, to connect with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A frequency, a way a male and a female could connect. It's the way you could be on the motherfucking Cogs way or going up. You know what I'm saying? The FDR. Quinn and I just said it the best. Niggas, niggas is just, it's, it's gotten to a place where in our generation, we just scared to love. Or we scared to be vulnerable enough to show that that we're in love. Like, you get what I'm saying? And the thing about it is, I'm I'm a tough nigga. I'm from where I'm from. I'll be in love, yo. You feel me? Like, these songs don't come out of nothing. Like, a nigga be in love. A nigga be. Yeah, nah, nigga, you love hard. Fuck up over shit. Yo, yo, you got some real love. love hard bars. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, Again, I'm gonna let you get back to what you're doing. I just wanted to touch on 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 those points because I I always felt like yo these may be the 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 defining factors in us as youngins and us as young people right now, including you, all of us, just in our generation right now, just being young and vibrant enough to be outside and bringing that feeling back. And so, if we all come together and as and again, I hate to make this rhyme, but put more unity in our community. If R&B, I think right now we'll step to the forefront and it'll be it'll be what it's supposed to be because the, the the reality of it is when you talk about the algorithm and you say, yo, this is turning to this. The reality of it is the reason why they stopped us from doing R&B is because it was the one thing, no disrespect, that the niggas had that white niggas wasn't really able to do like us. So they took it out because it was the one thing. White niggas can rap, they can sing too. White people can do everything. I'm not I'm not taking away. But this was the one thing we had that came from yeah. so, came from our situation, came from our no community. Yeah, and and and, and no. that's my that's my big fire passion motivation is that like I saw that taken away, I saw that right. magic taken away. I went to go see Jasmine Sullivan the other day, and I was, uh, I mean, a couple of weeks back, and I was just like, man, like you know the way she sings and sounds and and, and the way she just performs live, and 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 she's free. The mm -hmm. shit is like, you know, she's like a black queen, you know, musical goddess. Incredible. Incredible. You understand what I'm saying? Incredible. And there's like so many cats. I've been got I got I got hit with so many people that really wanna 
to 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 give that love and give those vocals. Mm -hmm. It ain't set up. The game, that shit is dead. If yeah, you think exactly. you come out and put out like a four minute song and you're gonna showcase your vote, you ain't gonna have nowhere to play that. That's a fact. That's what I'm talking about. Right. And it shit gotta stop. We killed on and we not gonna let them kill it because we're gonna come together. Yo, Tori, I'm finishing up my album. You know what I'm saying? I got I have everybody on I, I don't see a name on there though right there. We got Jasmine Sullivan. <laughs> Party next door. We now, got the weekend. We got baby face John. Yo, it's crazy. Hey, listen. I got her. I'm I'm going in for three weeks. Listen, I'm doing a love camp for three weeks. And I'm inviting, I'm gonna set it up in Miami. I'm inviting all of the RB producers out there. We're gonna set up shit by the pool and things in the back. And then in the bathroom, I'm right, gonna take over whatever. And we're gonna make some real music and we're gonna come and unify and get this conversation going. We're gonna learn from each other. I will be there. Yeah, you be there. There we go. There. And, and I just want to say in closing, like I'm coming there with all types of vibes, even for the rest <laughs> of this year. Like as far as when it goes to to being creative, I want all the R and B niggas to know, like, yo, don't stop yourself from being creative, and also don't think you need to have some sort of package. I don't care if you fat, small, skinny, tall, whatever you are. I don't care if you got a, a nose like Big Bird, nigga. Go and go after your shit. That's what makes you unique, and that's what makes us love you. So at the end of the day, bro, I'll be there in Miami. I'm coming with all kind of vibes. 60, that's right. 80, 90s. I'm not playing. I'm, I'm, let's I'm, go. Let's go. We, 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 we have our first super producer signed up for the Love Records finishing up my album, Camp. <laughs> I don't know what to call it yet, but you know. But yo, we we, we definitely gotta connect, King. And I we appreciate will. you calling in, man. Always love and my brother. I do I do agree on what you said. It's not a lot of earth shattering albums out right now. And I think like just like you know, everybody chill. I'm about to drop December. I'm dropping I'm, I'm gonna drop an earth shattering one Oh, you dropping an earth shattering one? Okay, cool. Cool. I just I just wanted to God, it might be kind of check this out. Me too. Me All too. Of my in November, though. You got September. I'm coming in November. Winter's That's fine. Coming. And winter's we, coming and winter's mine. Love, my brother. I got you. Love, love, love. Sure. <laughs> right. Love. Jay. Love. Oh, Jay. Yeah. 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 See, I just want to give you something that you can feel. That you can ride to. Shout out to Jazzy. Jazzy is the first artist coming out on Love Records. Shout out to Stacy. She's coming out on Love Records. Roy Woods, D Nice, I see you. Brian Michael Cox. Yo, I know I need to definitely get your perspective on what's going on. Yes, Jules. Queen Naja, Slim from 112. Just everybody. Cut off. Yes, sir. Who's this? Hmm? What up? Nah, that's that that that's be Cox, nigga. <laughs> he must be with Jermaine. That's be Cox. Y'all together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm over there. I'm, I'm over yeah, there. that's right. That's exactly yeah. what I wanted. The yeah. two, I'm gonna be quiet. <laughs> I'm not asking no questions. <laughs> hey, yo, JD, where you at? Oh, you going you gonna get an intro, Mike? Yeah, we no, talk, it's okay. Good. We cause we talking about like the the R and B, the feeling, the art form, and you you have you have to be somebody that's been affected by this. You gotta um, I can't see. Split, do the split. Drop. Okay. Get it back. <laughs> Okay. Gotta move on. Gotta move on. Gotta move on. Play it. Rock to it. Dance to it. The vibe is back. The frequency is back. The bop is back. 
Yeah, yeah. What's going on? What up, what up, what up? What up with it? Okay, so everybody, everybody, we got B Cox, we got Jermaine coming. But B Cox yeah. is, I don't know if y'all remember him from making the band. He's, he's to me is one of the greatest R&B producers that God ever gave birth to. And and his his R&B IQ is incredible. Then you got yeah. the King God next to him, Jermaine Dupri. These two, these are two actual R&B gods. Let's be clear. So I'm not going to say anything. We just have an R&B conversation. We're here to unify. That, that, yeah. That's one of the things I wanted to make sure I'm love. We here to unify. I'm a, a R and B champion. I want us all to win. I respect everything and everybody, for everything coming out. But we have to have sometimes conversations that are real conversations about the art form, especially if 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 we're going through a renaissance. We're going through an R and B renaissance. R and B is not dead. If anything, it's bubbling more than it's ever bubbled, but it doesn't have the platforms, doesn't have the money, doesn't have the, the label backing, doesn't have the support, doesn't get the air time. And so that's why I wanted to have this conversation. And so, Jermaine, you could just take it away from wherever you feel, what you've been feeling the last two days. You know, I don't really be doing the internet and people be talking, you know, going back and forth and, you know, all that. But I was like, I'm going to take one for the team for love, man. I'm going to start this conversation. So why don't you help me out, brother? Because you know you all two together, you know. Now I, 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 I want to I say this. Though. I, I feel like, um, you know, no cut on the conversation. It ain't, it ain't, we got to get some young niggas that want to be the new Puff Daddy. We got to get some young niggas that want to be the new JD. We got to get some young niggas that want to be the new Andre Carell, yeah. the new Kadar. Because the quarterbacks in the 90s was the niggas that was shielding the R&B and making sure that the R&B sounded and looked the way it was looking, yeah. right? So I just heard Summer, and I feel like she got a quarterback with my nigga Justice that, that actually loves R&B music. But I feel like the rest of these artists, they, got, they, they don't really have a place of people that's that that's going to protect them. You know what I mean? Like, protect our artists, allow the artists to do what they got to do. You know, when I saw Anthony Hamilton, he gave me his album the way it came. I didn't, I didn't, I only did one song. You know what I mean? I did one song on the album just to make sure people knew that I signed him. But for the most part, his album was done and it was all live instrumentation. It was all him singing. And he was allowed to do what he wanted to do. And yeah, did people tell me that so so deaf shouldn't have an artist like Anthony Hamilton. Of course they did, but I love R and B. I don't give a fuck what nobody tried to tell me about what I'm trying to put out, yeah. right? And I think that's I think that's the first that's the first place this got to start is that the energy and the love of what you're doing right now right now, um, people got to get back into just doing that. Like put your flag in 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 the top of the mountain and claim. You waving for R and B, you know yeah. what I mean? It ain't a bunch of niggas that's even doing that. It's a bunch of rap niggas that's rapping and that's signing rappers that's trying to just do R and B because they know that they gotta do it, mm -hmm. but they ain't really in love with it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta love it. You gotta want to do it, and you and, and it's a coolness to R and B. Like while niggas shooting and killing everybody, yeah. you can go to an R and B party and shit be cool, I mean, and that's where all the ladies at. Exactly. And that's 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 how I grew up. Yeah. That's where the ladies at. <laughs> and, 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 and to add on, you know what I mean? Like, like what, I, I sent you a video last night. Puff, like, oh yeah, yo, oh yo, 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 because your on B party, my nigga, listen, fucking fire. I'm coming in to just Atlanta to go to your shit. You got now, every week, my nigga. We sold out every week. It's R and B all night, like to the point where if the DJ slips and start playing rap, like you know, I'm I'm, I'm a mild man to do, but when a nigga start playing rap music at my party, I go crazy. Me and Keith go crazy. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like literally. Every week we sell out R and B music. It's, it's yeah. hardcore niggas in there. It's beautiful women in there. It's niggas with money in there. It's professional people. It's music people. All kinds of people. All walks of life in this party every single week, and we sell out. And that video I sent you, where niggas singing Jodeci at the top of their lungs, like this is every week. You know what I mean? People like I I've seen Tory talk about, you know, niggas singing to their girls in the club. Like every week. There's a hardcore nigga in, in the booth singing to his girl at our party. You know what I mean? And if anybody's been our party, have experienced our party, we've been going on five years now. What did you say? 
Yeah, so, no, I was saying just shout out to everybody yeah. just around the country, you know what I'm saying, that, yeah. that's starting to do more of the R&B pop-ups. That's why I really came, you know, you know, with, with, with my next, my second half being about R&B and love records, because that's what I love to do. That's the frequency I love. That's my frequency. Yeah. I'm not like the frequency where I just want to shoot everybody up. I'm like, <laughs> love, I want to motherfucking dance. And yeah. And, and 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 take my time and yeah. you know and, and look into her eyes and you know what I'm saying so it's just like I'm a R and B lover I'm a fan first I know yeah. I'm a fan that has produced some stuff but there ain't no feeling like right now going to an R and B party with the vibe some baddies the hookah yeah the belly on it's it's, 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 it's it's the newest it's, it's, it's the one of the important parts of the renaissance is the nights, the R&B nights. So I'm just promoting everybody because we're going to be all coming out with a lot of R&B music. That's what the focus of this is for. Yeah. Me and Jermaine, we all talked about this two years ago. And I was like, yo, we got to really, you know, go and gang back up. I never said like, yo, it's just us. I'm even speaking to Justice from LVRN. I'm saying like, we got to come together mm -hmm. and like really create the lifestyle the nightlife the look yep. the feel because people want other things everybody ain't 15 b yeah you know what i'm saying and everybody can't listen to certain things it ain't no bashing of hip-hop because mm -hmm. this hip-hop and r&b we do both things but we talking about something that's missed on on just on on a fly nigga level even your car if you got a car and you got a sexy car, and you ain't got an R&B joint to play in that motherfucker. You ain't even got nobody. If you got married right now and went on your honeymoon, you wouldn't even have nothing to make a baby to. Who y'all <laughs> <fucking? laughs> Don't lie to me, man. Yeah. I'm here to make sure we bring it together. But, you know, we were just talking about that excitement. And so to be clear, R&B is not dead, but somebody motherfucking killed killed the, the 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 endless possibilities of the genre it's like in a it's box important. right now if we don't it's come together and, and do the nights and make the records and as tori said show cats how to go other places with records you know what i'm saying um it it it, it can't be done because this is that's us r and b is us you know what i'm saying yeah that's we got it. we got we got the best we got to go back and support musicians yes because, you know, no no disrespect to tori um that was just here but when you ask tori lands about what, bridges right he ain't really understand your question clearly from a yeah. musicality standpoint no not you, you i'm sure he yeah. understands what i'm saying but that was a musicality question that you asked right and i think sometimes people lose sight of understanding that r&b is you know, niggas that came from church that understand yeah. how to make music, yes. right? Exactly. B. Cox comes from the church, yeah. and he played in the church every Sunday. Niggas not going to church no more and not learning how to play in church and not knowing how to sing because your friends singing in the church. Yep. All of that's gone. Like, that's, that's the actual death of it because yeah. you don't have no young kids coming to us that's in yeah. church. The church. They're not yeah. going to yeah. church. Unfortunately, I, I, you know. I, I said that yesterday, you know, once Saturday night cats stopped going from the strip club to church, the music, yeah. the whole vibration, like kind of, because the spew over from the church is what is, is, is what made R&B. And I know that's that's provocative in nature. And people no, got true. Everybody, that's, that's that's everybody, true. Keep, everybody chill. We talking about some real thing. And so when you ain't got that spillover of God and love, and, and then you just got that computer and, and you just trying to get hot. That's yep. the way it sounds. It, yep. it, you know what I'm saying? That, that, so, so I definitely feel like the, the, the lack of people going, it's so many different things <laughs> that, that need to come back. And it's all right. Yeah, we need to go to church more. We need to make love more. Mm -hmm. We need to time it. We need to, yo, yo, I was slow dragging the other day. And I was like, man, <laughs> y'all have a slow drag session? Yeah. <laughs> you need to Probably have like one. a slow drag out every RB yeah. party where you got to ask the girl, you know what I'm saying? Your breath got to be fresh, all that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you got to smell good, good, all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> yeah. so, I mean, I'm, I'm just excited, man. And we talked about this two years ago. And I'm going to ask you this question, though. I mean, I'm going to say, I mean, let me finish the thought. We talked about this two years ago. That, yo, I was like, yo, we need to all get together, join forces, get all the musicians that's out there, that's at home, that, that's not where. Let's all get together. So when I do this Love Records camp, JD, B Cox, please, I'm going to need y'all to come there, pull yeah. up. You know what I'm saying? And let's get busy. Let's get to it. Um, and I remember us, that, that's something we planned for two years. So this conversation <laughs> done came full circle. And so I just wanted to tell y'all, thank y'all for everything y'all have done for R&B. Thank y'all for everything y'all have done for music. Um, um, JD, if you, if, you, if you want that smoke, you can get that smoke anytime. Hey, hey, relax. Here we go. Relax, here we go. Relax, 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 no, relax, we hey, relax, relax, relax. Relax, relax, relax. I really want I really want to say this though. If people really want to see R and B done at the highest level that it's supposed to be done, yeah. make sure you get on a plane and go to Vegas and see that boy Usher's Usher, man. new show. Yeah. Because I'm yeah. telling yeah. you, you know. We always having these conversations. I, I I don't have these conversations, but everybody, you know, it ain't really about a king of R and B and all of this type of shit. It's just higher level R and B. We trying to get to a higher level of R and B. Usher might be the, the, high, the, the highest high level, level of R and B that yeah. we have right now, no as doubt. far as I'm concerned. And it's not just because I write and produce yeah. the songs with him. I'm just saying when you see somebody perform at the level that he's performing and the singing that he's doing, I seen people saying that even in the chat earlier mm -hmm. about Usher's tiny desk, right? Mm -hmm. And he was just singing. And I feel like I feel like people you said there's no auto tune. Like we talking about niggas that could actually not get that get in front of anybody might, not just yeah. they might. Anybody anybody might anybody and do what they gotta do. If you want to learn people, y'all got to go to Vegas and see this boy Usher. Like it's it. it's it's yeah. it's it's at a whole nother place. And Usher Raymond is the only solo male black R&B artist that's about to go double, double diamond. diamond, double diamond. We're about to be at twenty million. Congratulations to Usher. Congratulations to. To, to you, Jermaine, that means you about to go double diamond. <laughs> you about to be double diamond, baby. <laughs> hey, yo, everybody, whenever I joke with Jermaine, y'all don't know Jermaine is like one of my best friends. You know, Jermaine and um, Dallas, when I got fired back in the days, they took me under the wing, let me come out to, you know, Atlanta, L.A. and Babyface. And um, I had always, you know, always and still do look up to Jermaine. I remember when I was a kid looking at videos, I was seeing, like, Jermaine was on tour, you know, <laughs> at five years old. He was, <laughs> he was on tour. I was like, man, I wish I could be that little kid. I wish that I could be that little kid right there. It is, a lot of times, you know, on these things, people don't know people's relationships, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, this, to me, is definitely... Um, you know, one of the greatest producers ever in the world and, and definitely somebody Thank that, you know, appreciate it. Um I, I look forward, I look forward to this we saying since 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 we ain't fucking with verses no more because they fucking around with our boys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We don't need to be going to get against each other. Let's come together and do that bad boy so so deaf in Atlanta at that time, time. baby. It ain't no verses, it's just hit for hit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Let's do it's it. Time. Hey, yo, so, so, Pump, I do, I know, because you're going to keep having this conversation. I thank you all. I, I just want to say this, and I know people probably going to be, you know, a little rubbed the wrong way, mm -hmm. but if you make R&B right now, you out there and you love R&B based on what somebody just said, yeah. based on what Troy was saying, I mean, what Tori was saying, um, and based on what Pump is saying, um, as far as, like, ganging up and, and just putting all your music out there, because it's a hole in R&B. We talk about, he's saying it's, it's, it's dead. It's also, it's a big hole. Mm -hmm. And the hole is 25% 20, of that is locked up right now by the name of R. Kelly. Yeah. And I know this don't have nothing to do with his case. I'm just telling y'all musically, yeah. even when B. Cox have a party, you as, as you're a DJ, you can play all the R&B records you want, but then you start getting to a space where you're like, God damn, I can't play this. People, do you not know I mean it feel a little uneasy, right? So all I'm saying is that space is there, and it's time for us to fill that, that space. space yeah. we all, got, you all, all, all I want to say is. 
gonna lie. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I listen to some R. Kelly. Like you have to. It's no way you can't. That's no, what I'm saying. Yo, it's yo, no yo. way you can't. I listened to it and I was like, yo, I gotta, I was like, I, I gotta separate it. Cause I was just like, man. The boy, man. I was like, man, man. I was like, that's a big, big part of R and B. You know what I'm saying? And that baby making music. And yeah, everybody's gonna be like, anything's controversial, but y'all fronting. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't listen to some R. Kelly or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but that that <laughs> That yo know, yo know, my people people behind me are like no no, no, no. <laughs> that's what I'm saying I know I get it listen, don't like even said, you can't even I, listen to I, it I understand I'm yo I know how to like, separate I, the I, two I, I don't condone we, anything but hey I'm still yeah you may come in my crib and hear R Kelly record hey I said it y'all I said it I'm sorry but I gotta tell you the truth though you know what I'm saying and I don't condone nothing else it's still like no why what are you doing. <laughs> Nah, it's all... Listen, every it's, it's every time we have a conversation, it's like that. But you know, I thank you for letting us come on here yeah. and say what we gotta say. Um, but it is, it's a real R and B is about musicality and, and 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 you saying emotions. I saw you saying that yesterday about what it really pull out, right? And I just want to say this before we get off. We got we have the most emotional record, R and B record out right now with division, and it's making girls pull their hair yeah. out. It's making guys scared to even sing the yeah. song. But then you and, can't help it because you be in the club because the choir, the choir part, they, they just be singing along with it. Yeah, and I, to... and I just want to say that the song does not actually promote cheating. It's just a conversation, right? And if you're sitting there having a conversation with your girl, and if she's your girl, your real girl, or just your partner, you should be able to have a conversation with her where you say, if this was to happen, what, 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 how would you feel about it? Right. And, and and it's just really just a conversation. But women are taking it how they want to take it. But but at the same time, that's what R and B is supposed to do. It's supposed to provoke you to do something and, and, yes. and feel. It's 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 evoking an energy. And that's what I keep hearing you talk about and seeing you post. Yeah. That's all we're doing. It's not even about yeah. being toxic. I, I don't think it's about that. I think it's about just being, you know, just evoking emotion so that you can understand the separation between all musics, right? That's what R&B has always done. Mm -hmm. If you think I'm lonely now, wait, wait until, until tonight. tonight. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> niggas were oh. talking that talk. You feel me? <laughs> hey, yo, JD, I do want you to answer this question. Why do you think there's a lack of bridges, ad-libs, you know what I'm saying, vamp outs on, because Tori didn't, as you said, Tori didn't really get into the you know what I'm saying? Um, to, to, to the exact the exact thing I was asking. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to Tori for coming. Can't wait to see you at the camp, kid. Well, oh. yeah, we was just talking about this. A bridge, a bridge in a record, right? Is 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 usually done when you in the room and you feel like you have you you you've maxed out with where you can go, right? But you feel like the song ain't over. That's a that's a producer songwriter, mm -hmm. real singer moment to like. I need, I, I still feel like I got something else to do, right? Because we talking about the Beyonce record. Mm -hmm. She went to a bridge, and what's the song? I'm sure she went to a modulation. No, uh, but, but what's the song? Love on Top. Yeah, and Love on Top, she went to the bridge, and, and then, then she modulate. went to one modulation, and then she went to six more modulations, right? That's just to show you, I think I can keep going. I can mm. keep going all the way up the scale. I can really sing, right? And that's just, that's just really the emotion that singers have. Right. And bridges, bridges became a thing where people was like too much. I saw Troy Taylor talking about this one day. He was like, man, they got bridges back on the radio. A bridge is never uncool. It's mm -hmm. just it's just a situation where, like I said, the younger yeah. people was like, niggas is over singing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's crazy to me that like boys, the men, we don't hit them no more. Them niggas is amazing. Mm -hmm. Right. We should hear that. And we got to also do this. We also got to stop doing this. R&B artists have to understand what's theirs, right? And they got to support what's theirs. Urban, the Urban AC chart does not mean you ain't as good as nobody else in the rest of the world, right? If you get a number one Urban AC record, you should act just as happy as you got a Hot 100 record. Because mm -hmm. who's to say that Billboard determines what's, what's what? This is what's black. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. We got to support what's black music. This is our black music. I've seen uh, uh, Queen Naja say she got mm -hmm. her fourth number one Urban AC record, and she's actually promoting it. You have to. You gotta celebrate. You, you gotta, gotta celebrate, celebrate it. You yeah, let's just... celebrate it. You gotta you celebrate, celebrate it. Blood, you, gotta celebrate. you gotta celebrate. I think also, too, to chime in, too, Pup, I feel like the skill level, man. You know what I mean? We, we could talk about churches. I, I, we all came up in church. You know, you got the, the you you know, I'm, me and Skeeter go way back. Mario, J Dub, like we come from an era, you know what I mean? We had to play. You know what I'm saying? And those transitions were important. I think that a lot of young creatives are learning how to make music uh, in, in a different way, whether they learn it online, whether they learn it from their friends, whether, you know what I mean? Versus we have proper mentors, proper, you know what I mean? People showing us the way, whether it was somebody at church that shows the, 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 the church director that going from them, then coming here and being around other producers who were established and teaching the way. Chucky, who's my man, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Chuck. Was was a person who you know, I looked up to, who gave me, you know what I mean? All kinds of, of, of tools and things I needed as a young producer coming into business. I feel like that's a part of it too. I feel like a lot of times producers go in, the, go in the rooms and they don't even know how to do a bridge or where to take a song. It's like yeah. hit records I, are coming off, people making hit records off eight ball loops. I feel there's an opportunity. I definitely think, you know, and you know, I'm great on the follow up, y'all. You know what I'm saying? On getting mm -hmm. us together. You know what I'm saying? And um 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 you know, having us to be able to show people that that are upcoming on produces, you know, some of the code. You know what I'm saying? Some yeah. of the code and, and us collaborating and doing stuff together and us learning from each other instead of it being separated always on generations or ages or choices or or or, or 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 the way people would do things. Um, there's a beauty right now, and and we're we're starting. This is the love era. Welcome everybody. I know you tuned in to find out who killed R&B, but plot twist, <laughs> plot twist, motherfuckers. Welcome to the love era, and we're gonna come love together, era. We're gonna produce some records. We're gonna we're gonna um bring some musicians out. We're gonna collaborate with each other. I don't care what school you from, old school, new school, this generation, that generation, old R&B, toxic R&B. We're going to get together and all make some beautiful music. But we bringing back what I'm doing and, 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 and my focus at Love Records is bringing that frequency of love back. So uh, I look forward to making a bunch of records with you guys. Oh, and, buddy. And, and just send love out to everybody. And, and thank y'all for coming, uh, coming on, man. I love y'all. And, and, and appreciate you, brother. We love you too, man. And Beacock's already on your album. Beacock's already on your album. No, we started. Yeah. We started a couple of ideas. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. Shout, out, shout out to Jagged Edge. I know Jagged Edge is on your album. Yeah, we was there with yeah. Jagged. Shout out to Jagged yeah. Edge. No doubt. Yeah. We, 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 we gonna. I'm, I, I got three weeks to finishing up, so I'm gonna invite everybody down to Miami, and we we gonna see who whose swords is sharp on Let's the right baby. end. You gonna get the best of the best. You remember when? We remember when Jordan. Was doing um the, the the cartoon movie Space Jam. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he had him build the he had him build the, the the court. Yeah. I just bought the house next door to Star Island. I I used to be on the two. Yeah. The two. That's my I, that ain't my favorite number. My favorite number is number one. Number so one. I bought the number one next door, and <laughs> um so I'm gonna invite everybody to come on down. And we can make music in the house I bought next door. You know Let's what I'm saying? Go. Um, Let's go. And 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 we gonna get into a vibe because it's it's gonna be just like when Jordan built that basketball court on the set of Space Jam. So when he had all of the hardest bet ball players come ball with him, I wanna I wanna get together and produce with all of the hottest producers, new, up and coming, older, yeah. um, legends. Just bring, make sure you come sharp. Oh, I, wanna, also, I wanna make some r and records with RZA. Shout out to RZA. Hopefully you'll come on down to Miami. And um, um, yo, just I just just, just, just love you guys. And yeah, man. We'll definitely see y'all soon. And and um, that I'm 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 just thankful. I'm thankful. And welcome to the love era. Let's go, Let's go brother. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's it's an R&B renaissance. It's a love era. We're gonna bring some love back to the music. Yes, All sir. right. Let's go, All man. right. Love y'all. Right. Yes, sir. Okay.
So I got to tell you a story about this record about she don't want my love. I guess I got to move on. Um, Bryson, he was going through a breakup. I was going through a breakup. And um, you get to that, there's that point where you got to move on. And I love his songs because like we like bearing, bearing our souls. And that's what R&B is about. And the joint, I mean, the dance floor with this one right here, shout out to all the DJs that's playing it, making the dance floor sexier. But most important is the vulnerability. So what you hear on the record for everybody out there that's up and coming R&B artists, just tell your truth. You know what I'm saying? This is some shit that I went through, some shit Bryson went through. You know what I'm saying? When you get to that point in a relationship where somebody don't want your love no more. So make sure that y'all listen to it. If you ain't heard it, dance to it, rock to it. Every morning, every day. As I told you before, I'm a frequency. The bop is back. The love era has begun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. And I want to say I look forward to everybody, all the producers, send me some stuff in my DMs, all the new artists that have been saying like, now, nah, nah, Puff, I can sing, because I'm looking for singers, you know, I'm looking for singers, that I'm looking for certain type of players, artists that I can cultivate, that, that, that have a certain type of vocal talent, um, that, that, that bring out emotion in people. I'm an emotional, passionate person. And, 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 and with the r and I like, I like I like to make sure that the artists that I work with, that's what I'm so excited about Jazzy, y'all. Jazz, we're going to drop some new music on Jazzy, one of the first artists off of Love Records. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm, like, excited about her like I was excited about Biggie. You know what I'm saying? And that ain't no cap right there. Yo. Jazzy, she's coming. Stacey Boss. She's coming, you know what I'm saying? New album, working on it, finishing it up now, but got the single, Gotta Move On. I'm out here, I'm working, I'm on the Gotta Move On promo tour. Miami, I'm gonna be on um, Friday night, I'm taking over. Fuck it, Friday, I'm gonna be out promoting. I'm doing live, I'm doing booby trap, you know, um, I'm adapting. Um, shout out to my brother, Young Thug, gave me some of the best advice. He told me I got it. If I'm getting back in the game, I gotta adapt. Um, you have um, shout out to Gunner, Free Gunner, Free Thug. Um, yo, I'm just happy to be back making music. You know, having a, a, a chance to do you know what I love and and to be able to collaborate and 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 to be able to show people and and be able to push artists to their great.